All right, good morning. It is 10 a.m. I've been awake for five hours already. Um, so this is going to be my first YouTube video, I guess. Um, so let me get this spiel out. Um, my name is Courtney, Courtney Lynn, as the channel is called. Um, welcome to my channel. I am creating this channel to express myself a little bit and to kind of share my life a little bit because I am alone a lot and, um, and sometimes that could be draining and even though I'm talking to nobody, maybe doing this could help me a little bit in that. I work from home. I write a blog. I am also what many people would call a homemaker. So I plan on sharing lifestyle, weight loss, beauty videos, um, fashion, plus size fashion mostly because even though I am going to be sharing my weight loss, I'm still in plus size clothing. So it'd be classified as plus size fashion. For my first YouTube video, I thought I would do something kind of easy. I would show some of like what I'm doing today, um, what I'm eating today. So maybe like a day in the life type of video. So we'll go ahead and start it. I recorded my breakfast earlier today and we'll get into that. And I'm having my first meal today. And it is egg, scrambled egg, two scrambled eggs and one yellow potato. I do cook the potato with butter because I'm willing to sacrifice 50 calories for potatoes. And I am on my third cup of coffee. I use sugar, not sugar, right? I use sugar-free coffee meat, French vanilla. So I'm on my third cup of coffee and my breakfast. I will show the calories on the screen as I go through the day. So this is breakfast and the calories will be on the screen. So part of this, what I do in a day, I want to kind of show my planner. <laughs> it's not that organized. I'm working on a system to organize. I think I'm just going to buy a second planner and have two so I can have one for blog and one for YouTube and my phone I want to use for my personal like stuff because putting it all in one has been, it makes it a little too hectic for me. So I'll show a picture of what my planner looks like over the top of this but as you can see I use as of right now trying to put everything in at the same time it that there's a lot of stuff on the page and I have blue pin for blog red pin for YouTube green pin for fitness and purple pin for personal and then I also have highlight colors pink for done green for moved with a little pin dot to where I moved it to, and then orange for canceled. And I kind of want to eliminate, I want to make this planner just for the blog so I can eliminate all of the other things that are written down, that are written down. I kind of want to just make this planner for the blog so that I can eliminate all the extra stuff that I've been putting in here. So that's my planner. I like I said, I'm going to be getting another one. I bought another one. It's coming soon. That is going to be a separate one for YouTube because adding, I thought I could just, you know, put it all in one, but that's a lot of writing in small spaces. And so since this is a, what I do in a day, my first one, I wanted to talk about the blog because I do dedicate a large chunk of time to that. Um, taking pictures, writing, links, all that type of stuff. So I wanted to share a simple post that I've been doing lately to kind of make it a little less hectic, and that's a cookbook challenge. And it's a challenge to finish a cookbook from front to back within like a year or so. And so I've been using this cookbook. I'll just put a picture up because it'll be easier. But I think this is a good way to get through a cookbook especially when like me there's other people out there like me that 
have tons of them and you only use two or three recipes over and over again and this way you're using more recipes you're learning what you do and do not like from the book and it gives you a chance to experiment with what you're doing so this is the first cookbook challenge i might include cooking in this channel also which is why i'm mentioning it so that's that it is almost 11 o'clock and I already showed my breakfast, which I ate at almost nine. I got up today. I know I think I said this in my breakfast part, but we'll just repeat it because that's what's happening. It depends on the day, but I usually wake up anywhere between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Depending on when my boyfriend, depending on when my boyfriend has to go to work because I wake up, make his lunch and I make coffee. I make coffee on the stove. I should record that at some point because most people, when I tell them that I make coffee on the stove, they're confused. They don't know what I'm saying. And it's just, it's an old fashioned way that I make coffee. It's how my grandma made it when she was alive. And I actually got her coffee pot when she passed away. And it's what I use every day. So I will do a recording of that. All right, so for right now, I think I'm done rambling. I'm going to probably start my lunch in about an hour or so. So I'm gonna do some more blog work and see you later. All right, so this is my lunch. I am having 3.5 ounces of salmon, four ounces of roasted red potatoes. This is one ounce of dilly beans, um, a tablespoon, of tartar sauce and a by I believe that's how you say it uh, watermelon so I'll go ahead and tell you how I made all this so first I took three red potatoes and I diced them up into some medium chunks I then put them into a bowl with some olive oil and then some Red Robin seasoning. The little packets were from my birthday dinner on Wednesday. They send them when you get to go orders. So that is in the oven. It roasts at 425 for about 15 minutes. And then you take it out, you flip it around a little bit and you put it back in for 10 minutes. And that's when I started the salmon, which is just the piece of salmon, salt and pepper. I put it on a nonstick, like flat pan that I love. I don't know, I think we got it at the dollar store or even we might have got it at Walmart, I'm not sure. Um, but I just cooked the salmon for the rest of the time that the potatoes were in. Five minutes on the flush side and five minutes on the meat side. And then I did cook it for a little bit extra on the meat side because I'm kind of afraid of that sometimes. All right, so lunch is over and it is time for the obligatory cleaning montage that is in everybody's vlog. So let's go. This was my dinner. I had four ounces of Hillshire turkey kielbasa. I had half a cup of brown rice and a third of a cup of peas. And that was my last meal of the day. So as you just saw, I had my last meal of the day. I'm gonna end my video here because we are going to watch a movie and Go to bed, I have to be up at 3 a.m. So, I'll see you in.